A local veteran is getting the help he needs after losing everything in Hurricane Harvey. The group helping him is headed by other fellow veterans. Sunrise reporter Emily Hamilton joining us now live this morning from Aransas Pass with this great story. Emily, good morning. Well, good morning, Jen. We are here this morning at the Aransas Pass Civic Center, where since Hurricane Harvey, Team Rubicon, it's a group of veteran volunteers. They've been camped out here in the parking lot, going on missions to help people in our community. And this week, they're helping Don Caswell. Aransas Pass, one of the areas hit hardest by Hurricane Harvey. Don Caswell is one of thousands of people left trying to rebuild and recover after the storm. Our mobile home exploded. Uh, we lost a home. We probably lost 90 to 95 percent of all of our possessions. But with the help of Team Rubicon, Don is getting the extra push he needs to get back on his feet. I'm fortunate enough to be in a position where I can volunteer to deploy with Team Rubicon and uh, being able to help people on their worst day it means a lot to me. Team Rubicon is made up primarily of veterans transitioning back into civilian life after serving our country all over the world. Rubicon volunteers have been stationed in Aransas Pass since the storm and work in shifts to clean up brush and debris at the homes of people who need it most. They also do demolition work like sheetrock, roofing, and carpet removal. Don Caswell says his brothers and sisters in the military are blessing him and his family in ways he couldn't have imagined. And they come out and they do a great job. They come out here and work hard and clean up, and, and it would have taken me a year by myself. To Paul Kelly is a Rubicon volunteer who served in the Marine Corps in the 90s and says volunteering not only helps those in need, but it's therapeutic for him as well. I got out years ago after Desert Storm and uh, kind of missed the calling that the military gave me. Where I work, there's not a lot of veterans, and I kind of felt alone where I worked. I didn't feel like I had anything in common with anybody. And getting out with Team Rubicon, I'm with like-minded people from all walks of life. From and Team Rubicon is expected to finish up work on Mr. Caswell's home sometime this week. And again, these services are free, so if you and your family are needing assistance at your home, you can actually just come out here to the Aransas Pass Civic Center to meet members of Team Rubicon face to face and let them know um, kind of what you need at your home. Or you can visit TeamRubiconUSA.org. Reporting live in Aransas Pass this morning, Emily Hamilton for 6 News.